Greetings, this is Cal Cat, the Cal Catster, and tonight we have a special episode, special guesty episode, featuring something we've been working on for months, and I have, I have two items to, uh, to show you here. Um, yeah, so let's get on with it, and you'll find out what the items are. <laughs> yes, so no cuts uh, in any of this, we're just going to go right to... Okay, 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 yeah. Um, I'm gonna do two cameras in a minute, but here we're gonna do just, just the new camera. And what we've got here in the studio. <laughs> yeah. It is disgusting. <laughs> this is so stupid. No, here we go. So we have, we have not just one. But two bootlegs, bootleg transformers. Holy shit! <laughs> the latest series of bootleg transformers, <laughs> Deformation Tycoon. Ooh, Deformation Leader Series Bumblebee. Well, I think they're calling him not Bumblebee. Check this out. This is the packaging to the to Transformers the last like a year ago. It's basically ripping it off. They have like a a, a, a five uh, representing nothing. Oh, uh, we have um we have this this is series five, I guess. So here we have because it's the latest series. So we have the two in the latest series. We have a knockoff Bumblebee and a knockoff Optimus Prime. <laughs> And I saw this in the store, I was like, oh, yes, I have to have this. And I have to start off this. This is not necessarily going to be a show about bootleg Transformer purchases. There already is one. Phelan does it. Mmm. But yes, um, so we're not going to do him. But but it's hilarious. This is great. He, he. This is just, like, they tried so hard to make this a Transformer package. It's just, oh, my God. It's, wow. And they even tell you how to transform the thing, but yeah, oh man, Bumblebee for packages and cards. Yes, and if you want to read the back of the packaging, um, can it is in English, uh, but and it has a CE notice made in China. Gee, uh, that doesn't surprise me in the slightest. Of course, regular toys are made in China, but this is a genuine like uh, toy motion uh, from the mall oddly enough uh, transformer packs the other the other is identical it has lot numbers and serial numbers and ca notices which it wouldn't really have <laughs> um, but uh, yeah it's not electronic um <laughs> but uh yeah it's, it's hilarious this is like the packaging from Age of Extinction, mixed with a little bit of Dark of the Moon, not not Dark of the Moon, Age of Extinction. Yeah, and, and uh, a little bit of the Combiner Force packaging. Uh, he looks to be the Bumblebee from the, um, the, the Dark the Night. Yeah, the Last Night, a little bit. Uh, and this looks like to be Optimus Prime from the Last Night. Uh, yeah, so, actually, it could be Age of Extinction Prime, but it... I, I think it's actually last night cab over prime. Uh, he's, but he's called the Deformation Tycoon. Mmm, Deformation Tycoon. Here's Prime's packaging. Uh, the boxes are are quite uh, uh, nice looking for a, a bootleg. Uh, it's impressive. Yes. Mm. They have done much a much better job than some of the Galaxy Hole stuff. Uh, I, I was watching a bunch of Phelan parties of stuff, and he was he was you know doing those uh, Galaxy Warrior He-Man things and, and Transformers. And uh, yeah, and I do I did have a Baltard and an Anubis years ago. I don't know what happened to them, but I did have them. But here I uh, yeah got it at a like Goodwill at one point. But uh, these guys are in the box, so that's different. And yeah, I totally had to. Let's let's uh, have a look. Let's let's yeah, let's check it out. Um, yeah, so 
I don't want to bore you with trying to get these open because that would be boring. But uh, that's weird. Let's see if we can zoom in on the company this was. Um, let's see. Mm, can't see it. The price tag's obscuring it. But there's like Egyptian writing. Okay. Yeah. So if any of you guys want to have sharp eyes and pause on the but it's the latest series. <laughs> Here, you do it. Okay. <laughs> Tycoon, the latest series. Mmm. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's the latest series. Is that their version of the leader class? <laughs> Deformation Tycoon. <laughs> okay, but they both are, so. Yeah, it doesn't appear to give him a name. Deformation Leader Series. Ooh. And this house is Leader Series. Ooh. So, let's crack these big boys open and have a look. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, we cracked open the boxes here. Yeah. Pull them out. Just wanted you to get a look at how how well done they did this packaging to make it. I mean, clearly it's not a transformer. Clearly it's like a ripoff. But it's 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 kind of like wow they went through it all, an awful lot of trouble to do this. Uh, yeah, these were these were retailed about twenty bucks each, which is about the price that they would be in the store if a real one. But it's clearly a bootleg. The funny thing is, is like, we were like, 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 you know what? Yeah, this is clearly a bootleg, but I want it. And then I came back to the store, I got the other one. I got the Prime first. The very, like, an hour later, and they thought I was going to return it. And I was like, no, I want the other bootleg. And it's all like, you know these are bootlegs? So I don't care. I want them anyway. They're, they're, they're strangely awesome. Yeah, here we go. So yeah, we have it tied with the sprues, like a legitimate transformer. Um, yeah, highly skeptical that they actually transform without probably like flying apart. There used to be a store like this in Eastridge like 20 years ago that had a bunch of this stuff. Uh, got a bunch of the uh, background characters for the, the Trans series and Trans 2 there, yeah. And then later on, Trans Tech, I had a lot of them left over. A lot of them were broken. And uh, they were cannon fodder. And they, they were destroyed in the movies. Because they would look a little like a Transformer, and they make good cannon fodder. Anyway, we have a Prime that looks fairly decent. Uh, almost the third party looking guy here. So he's not he's not completely bad. He's not like, oh, the wrong color, or the color's dripping or fading. Or, doesn't appear to be really anything exceptionally wrong with them um yeah so, yeah they are not complete i mean like yeah that's obviously yeah there's some there's some odd paint just uh choices but you know okay but uh, yeah yeah um so let's bust them open i <laughs> turn them over and there's some kibble on the back yeah <laughs> okay, that's probably not the case on the actual, the, the real one. <laughs> the little kibble back there. Oh shit, I just, I got him out here. And, yeah, he's pretty stiff, actually. Um, yeah, he's supposed to be, he doesn't say what he is, which is funny. It's Bumblebee, but it doesn't say. It just says, he is a latest, yeah, the latest deformation robot generation, uh, these tycoon, um, deformation tycoon transformers, like Carta, um, they're, um, that was my line, toys. Uh, the, the, these, uh, these, these are about as cheap as the Carta, I would say. Um, <laughs> so, uh, here we have, uh, yeah, except I built those, count. Um, yeah, they weren't from, from for sale. But these are remarkably strange little guys. Um, um, yeah, well, I'll, I'll get the prime out here in a minute, and we'll do that, do the prime. 
So then we have Optimus Kibble here, and I used a, this uh, sheet here, and uh, yeah, he's he's a fairly good. I mean, he's he's not horrible. I mean, it's not like he's. Yeah, I, I would be skeptical that he could transform though. I don't, but yeah, he's Optimus Prime, and uh, yeah, he's. <laughs> He's not really, though. As you can see, there's no Hasbro markings on him anywhere. <laughs> it's not Sun Gold, though. I don't think. Um, Deformation Five, whatever that is. <laughs> yeah. So let's uh, let's transform these guys. Let's uh, let's do that. And uh, okay, let, let's check out articulation and stuff. That'll be good. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna set up the uh, camera to uh, on something so I can just like show the transformation so I don't have to hold the camera yeah that'd be good yeah so, okay okay here we have an Optimus Prime well sort of uh, he's in focus okay his he's got fairly decent articulation Although he's already got stress marks on his, so some people were arguing about reviews, and I'm gonna review this guy. So yeah, um, he's uh, he's prime, really. Um, let me move this over here a little bit. Um, there's Bumblebee. He uh, yeah. his legs do bend, so maybe he's got some transformation. I can probably stick the car body thing up on him, so it's not quite in the way. Uh, he's got that arm moves. <laughs> That's good. His arm moves. He's a bumblebee. Uh, yeah, he's pretty stiff actually. He's got good good articulation. So as a like background character, if you wanted him in a trans movie toy movie thing, it probably wouldn't really be all that bad, just having, you know, and it's not the original guy, obviously. It's sort of a third-party knockoff. It's more of a third-party than a knockoff. But yeah, he's he's got... Sure. Um, well, let's see if we can... Yeah. I wonder if these things even come out of his hands without pulling his hands off. Hmm. <laughs> what if Shredder showed up? So that wouldn't make sense now. No. Why would he show up? I'm crazy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Shredder is an incompetent idiot. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Let's just see if we can pose him. Captain, this is a mess. Engineering errors. So it's got like. Okay, let's try the transform. Huh. Okay. Um. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, um. I'm gonna put him in car mode. <laughs> do 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 do. I'm skeptical that I can put this in car mode. It's not gonna break. Leg. <laughs> it's probably gonna snap off. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, yeah. Uh, I almost don't want to push this leg forward because I don't know if I'm breaking it. <laughs> um, hold on. So far, so good. 
Let's see. Here we go. Let's see over here. Um, you know what? I'm gonna transform this guy, and then I'm gonna. No, I'm gonna pause it. So let's try the Optimus Prime. Okay. Trying the Optimus Prime. Put him in Prime mode. So if he's anything like the Age of Extinction Optimus Prime, we should be able to transform him. Of course, if he isn't, he'll just fly apart. So they've yeah they've they've kept that going apparently. The truck cab. Yeah. This is not a transformation video. Uh, their bootlegs. Uh, this is more like I'm gonna like mess around with them and then transform them. Yeah, I'm not showing them off. So yeah. Um, so we got Prime here. Uh, this bootleg. Yeah. Uh oh, what's that? There's like a sticker on the bottom of him. It's like a little sticker, and it says. Item number, so Shen to China, item number trending, yeah, sure it is, uh, C uh, CPR training, uh, imported CPR trading, uh, yeah, CPB trading, it's not Sun Gold, but it's similar, Sun Gold's like gone, it's something else, anyway, I'm going to pause it and transform them both and then I'll let you know. Trending sticker is stuck on this one, like really good. So it's it's like gonna leave like a film on the back of it. <laughs> what? Oh no! Dun dun dun! Yes. <laughs> Peel the film off without ripping the sticker off the back of the toy, and like. <laughs> It's coming apart. <laughs> oh shit. Oh my goodness. Kind of like rub it off. Yeah. Yeah. Rub it out. Rub it out. And that's prime time. If a five is alive, Johnny the Five is alive. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's sort of a cannon fodder thing. This thing is pretty funny. <laughs> Let's see if we can... Uh... Okay, there it goes. Next thing. <laughs> Took like 25 minutes. But yeah, there there you go. Bumblebee. It rolls as rolling things... As I'm going to go with a freaking gig would say. Yeah, he's not a... Actually, he's not a bad representation of, of Bumblebee, but really if you're gonna get the Age of Extinction Bumblebee, um, just get him from, yeah, an actual real one. This one's fine, I mean, but it's the same price, so, yeah, just get it, just get the actual one. I mean, <laughs> if you want the bootleg one, it, it, it actually is not that bad as, as a one thing. So of course, now that I've made it into car mode, I wonder if I can ever get it back into robot mode. Um, <laughs> now I'm gonna do the prime. Uh, yeah, so he didn't fall apart. Um, he's he's very tight. Uh, yeah, so I understand that this toy line also does other stuff, but considering it's the same price as the other ones, yeah, it's sort of a weird. <laughs> that's the great, the greatest box ever. The latest series of Deformer Tycoon. That's it. Deformation Tycoon. Oh, what the hell? Okay, I'm doing the Prime one now. <laughs> I just, I just uh, had to start recording here because, <laughs> as you can see, um, I have no idea. Uh, he doesn't quite transform like the. Uh, he does transform like the uh, the 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 uh, Age of Extinction Prime, but something's odd here. I don't know what it is. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, so there there you go. Mmm. <laughs> and the directions are gibberish, pretty much. So yeah.
40 minutes later. Arr! We can't seem to transform this guy, so we have to call forth the only person that can transform this guy, Clint Cowpoke, who played Optimus Prime in TransTech. So, Clint, get in here. <laughs> oh, shit. What'd you do to him? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, <laughs> he completely frolicked him. Well, let's see. <laughs> wow, he looks like a satellite thingy or something from Mars or something. Yep. <laughs> well, I'll see what I can do. Here, yeah. We don't need to show this, though. <laughs> Son of a bitch. This this was a this was a challenge to get his arms around in there. Put them all together there. There he is, Optimus Prime. And just this is the uh un unmarked fake the Optimus Prime. Yep. It's the fake one. You can tell because there's nothing marked Hasbro anywhere on him. And yeah, so there he is. It really is too, because the other Optimus Prime is way over here. And he does say uh, from TransTech. And he actually is an authentic um, Transformer. That's my markings. And see, where's the little Hasbro thing? Like, sounds like. So, yeah. So, this is a real one. This doesn't have that fakey plastic. It's not bright. It's a real one. Not there's the fakey one. So it's also more gray looking on the gray parts, darker gray. Yeah, this is a real one. Toys R Us exclusive real one. There he is. Age of Extinction Optimus Prime. Yep. He's a, he's the uh, a cab over one. It's the one from the movie, Transtech movie. Yeah, he, he looks considerably different than the than the phony baloney one there. Mm. The yeah, the bootleg one here has um a little five symbol on the side. Plastic plastic lighter. Kibbly. Yeah. Well, he's not. He's, he rolls. He doesn't quite fit together all the way because that's partly because due to transformation that I kind of messed up. But yeah, he he he's an Optimus Prime. He's uh, well, he's a bootleg. So he, I could fit him together better if I finagled at him for an hour more. But you don't want to watch the video that's going on that long. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, so I'm going to transform the real one and put him next to this guy. Okay, this is the fake one with the little symbols on it. And this is the real one with the Autobot symbol on it. This one is a little lighter. It has gray around the gray parts. That one does. Uh, the transformation is more complex and harder to do. Uh, actually, it's smoother on, on the, uh, the real one uh, to do. It's smoother and quicker. Uh, whereas on the fake one, you're never too sure whether it's going to snap or break. It didn't, though. So, But yeah, neither of them actually come together all the way, uh, I noticed. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Age of Extinction... Uh, Optimus Prime. And, uh, mm, mm, yeah. And the bootleg. All right. Yep. There it is. So these were uh, yeah. The latest series. Mm. Tycoon. De Deformation Tycoon. <laughs> the f uh, yeah. Yeah, so, um, big deal there. Funny packaging. Since this is not actually 
uh, Phelan Portis and bootleg zones. We're not going to do uh, anything like that. This is sort of a, our own version of spoof, a ripoff, a bootleg. Um, yeah, so there's no rating on it necessarily. Uh, uh, we have, although if I was going to rate him as a, as a bootleg toy, and uh, with kibble, this guy has a lot of kibble for this part of the bag. I think the original one kind of did too. Oh, I don't know how. I don't have this particular one, but this is apparently the one from the last night, actually, which is interesting. Um, so we got last night here and here, and we got Cab Over Prime from Age of Extinction. Yeah, sort of a, a rip-off that they don't even call a cab over prime. They just say leader class deformer, um, you know. So, there, there is, uh, yeah, stick away the The Transformer one is a little heavier. Uh, it has the proper official markings. Um, there's Takara markings on this one. This is Takara thing, so the Toyota, Toyota is exclusive. And this is very light plastic, uh, like the bootleg one. It's much lighter than the real one, so it's cheaper plastic. Um, this is too, but for a, like a kitty toy, it's fine. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, just get the get the one from the movie. Uh, yeah, get that one. Um, it, it it it's probably more durable. Uh, they're not. Uh, they're not bad. Uh, you can display them. And... <sighs> so I don't know much about the other bootlegs. I haven't ever rated them. I'm not really gonna do anything with that. But uh, yeah. But yeah, this has been a uh, an interesting night of reviewing uh, Transformers, mainly transforming them. Fake Transformers from the la the latest series, which uh, there's been other ones of this toy line. I'm probably not going to get the other ones. Maybe the Megatron, but but none of the other ones. Uh, let's see what. Uh, well, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, I, I I wouldn't pay full retail for these bizarre. What is funny? There were other bootlegs to choose from, but I thought that a Bumblebee and an Optimus Prime would look the most, you know, cool. And that rip-off flaming cover Autobot symbol that they've messed with there is hilarious. Uh, deformation formers. Yes. I'll say in terms of the packaging, okay, we can play around with that a little bit. In terms of the packaging, I, I would give it a 9. That's hilarious. For a bootleg, they're really trying really hard. Uh, actually, the toy is the the prime, although tough to transform, is a solid eight, I guess. Uh, the bumblebee's a seven or eight, but yeah, um, yeah. So they're not they're not um not horrible. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Oh no, Megatron has cloned me into this cheap imitation. I am Optimus Prime or something, uh, uh, I guess. You are not Optimus Prime, I am Optimus Prime. Uh, uh, okay, okay. Uh, say, uh, yeah, uh, you're pretty agreeable about that there. Uh, yes, because, uh. Uh, I don't actually have a name. Uh, I'm just leader class. Yeah, the latest series, uh, Tycoon <laughs> Deformation Tycoon. <laughs> and now Bumblebee will save me. I'm not Bumblebee either. I'm Deformation Tycoon Leader Class. Oh, shit. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this has been uh, deformation type leader class. Not keeping the boxes. Um, keeping the toy though. Add to the collection in the background. Transformers. Yeah. So this has been. I figured. 
new camera, Transformers Tycoons. Mmm. That's a standee from Toys R Us. I'm just going out with this. Uh, somebody sold it at a garage sale, but it was their standee. <laughs> Excellent. I think it's actually, uh, it's not bendable or anything. It's you can move the arms, but, but yeah, it, it stands there. Anyway, anyway, <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, anyway, so yeah, that's it. Okay, so. Hmm.